Cavs are one time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Boston Celtics. And so off the tip, it's Boston. And now the opening lineup for Boston. You've got Russell. Sanders is out there with Heinsohn. Then it's Jones. And it's Jones in at shooting guard. Here's Heinsohn. Lock at six. Here's Russell. Props in the layup for two. Russell just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Little turnaround. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. And Russell gets it to go. Russell. Well, there's an aggressive mentality in play. Working close, find a way to score. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. The feed now to McHale. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Outstanding pass on time and on target. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. The pass to Jones. Feeds to Russell. Oh, and the jam by Russell. And the relentless nature that is Bill Russell. Always working for the best scoring opportunity. Won't find one better than that. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Jones against Ainge. Pass to Bird. Kicks to Johnson. He feeds it to McHale. That's in, coming off the assist from Johnson. And the ultimate combo guard, Johnson can pass with the league's best playmaker. Jones, the pass to Heinsohn. Outside, Jones. From 12 feet out, the shot, no good. Good D by Ainge. On offense, here are the Celtics. Back to Johnson. Pass to Bird. And another basket for Boston. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. Passes it to Heinsohn. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Back to Jones. Excellent D there from Parrish. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Got that bucket. An impressive start. Yeah, that's five straight makes to start the game. Celtics trail by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Outside, Jones. There's the feed to Russell. Great pass to set up the layup. Russell. Russell's got eight. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Ains the pass to McHale. No good. And it's Jones with the ball for the Celtics. Jones looking for an opening. Inside, Sanders. And Sanders, Sanders. throws it down. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Ainge against Jones. And here's Bird from the arc. The Celtics keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Shots good by McHale. Boston trailing. Down low. Here's Jones. Lays it up Man. off the glass. Just impressed with the teamwork out there. Setting the table for one another. 
Jones against Johnson. Bird outside. Buries it from three-point range. He's got seven. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. Here's Heinsohn. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Jones in the post, defended by Parrish. That one drops for him. And, and this is the problem. The, the length, the timing. Russell, one of the very best at corralling misses and turning them into points. Now, here is Ainge. McHale dishes to Ainge. Just five on the clock. Bird kicks to Ainge. Here's Parrish. And that one hits back iron. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. And Sanders throws it down. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Now, here's Bird. He has seven. Johnson in the corner. Now the pass to Pierce. And here's Bird for three. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Pass to Heinsohn. With his first shot attempt, offensive rebound, count it. Russell's got 12. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Ainge against Jones. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first. Just one of those guys that likes to annoy an, an energetic scorer who can shoot a high percentage from the field. It's his first trip to the line. The first one at the line is good. And some changes here for the Celtics. Havlicek, he's checked in for Heinsohn. And Siegfried subbed in for Jones. Second free throw, no good. And the basket is good. And the Celtics lead by three. And the Chief making his presence felt on that offensive backboard. Doesn't look like he's outworking you until you see the ball drop through the net. Jones drives in. A shot. No good. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Johnson right side. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And both teams here in a nice rhythm offensively. And that really says as much about the lack of D as it does either's boat. Now, here is Havlicek. Over Pierce. Rebound, Boston. McHale's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. On the wing, Hange, defended by Jones. Here's Parrish. And Sanders pulls it down. Celtics trail by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a timeout. standstill. Assist and guys, they continue Larry to put a lot Siegfried. of pressure on the interior defenders Boston. with their work timeout. down low. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And your Celtics dancer. He's checked in for the Celtics. Levin comes in for Ames. Thompson, he's checked in for Boston. Boston leading by three. Pass to Wedman. Havlicek against Bird. McHale passes to Bird. They double-team Bird. Passes it to Walton. 
The rebound by the Celtics. Russell's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Havlicek. And Boston with the rebound. Here's Wedman. And the pass to Walt. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. And the Celtics lead by five. Boy, you cannot leave him alone like that. Good form on the fadeaway jumper. Here's Jones. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And how about the anticipation and timing? You know, we talk about Walton's offense. How about the defense, though, he provides for this team? Now here's Johnson. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Celtics trail by five. Into the lane. Havlicek dishes to Thompson. Over Walton. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And the Celtics with possession here. Pass to Johnson. Back to Bird. Shoots from 14. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Siegfried, the pass to Havlicek. Here's Russell. Good once again. That makes him 8 for 9 this game. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. To the paint. Here's Bird. And it's Bird with the jam. Mm, 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 mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Russell inside. Walton's there. And Russell gets it to go on the assist from Havlicek. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Johnson outside. Here's Bird. Some solid defensive work there from Havlicek. Celtics trail by three to the inside. And the rebound goes to Johnson. Credit the defense right there. They have not allowed this guy to get going at all in this period. Bird, the pass to McHale. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Jones is running. Second shot opportunity. Here's Thompson. Bank shot. No good. Celtics leading by three. Bird dishes to McHale. And it's slammed in by McHale. And I tell you what, nobody willing to put a stop to that slam. Yeah, a break for the defense. That was a case of stand back, watch the show, buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> he saw the defense playing soft and simply used his natural gifts to take advantage. That makes him 0 for this quarter, and that has not helped their cause. Here's Johnson. Doesn't go for him. Good D by Thompson. Celtics trail by five. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Siegfried, the pass to Jones. He kicks it to Russell. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Havlicek. Shoots over Bird. And he can't bank that one in. Here's Wedman. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And we reached the end of the first quarter. Boston on top, up five. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. tuning in if you're just joining us we've played through one quarter of action so far and what do you guys think about Boston here in this one An impressive start they came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed what terrific work at the offensive end they have built some early momentum here Celtics leading by five on the court for the Celtics they've got Jones Thompson is out there with counts. Then there's Havlicek, and it's Siegfried into the point. Here is Seasting. High point lead, the biggest of the game. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here's Siegfried. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. 
Counts has got the opening basket here in the second quarter for Boston. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. Here's Redman on target from 13 feet. Redman. And the Celtics lead by five. And they seem to concede that shot, and his response is, thank you very much. Outside, Jones. Here's Counts. Trying to get open is Thompson. Counts, no good. Here's Wedman, defended by Jones. Offensive rebound. Wedman can't get it to go. And it's Jones with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Havlicek, the pass to Siegfried. Here's Counts. Walton defending. Counts, no good. Celtics leading by five. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Vincent's checked in for the Celtics. And then for Boston. Heinzen's checked in for Thompson. And Jones subbed in for Jones. Substitution. Here is Seasting. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Shot clock at six. Here's Vincent. Rebound by Counts. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Here is Seasting. Pass to Walton. Shoots from the right block. And Boston with the rebound. Counts has got his fourth rebound in this one. Passes to six. Now here's Jones. He started close. That one goes. Count it. And now just a one-point Celtic lead. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And he comes up with the deuce. Walton's got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage and just goes to work. There's the pass to Jones. Here's Counts. Pass to Heinsohn. Over McHale. And too long on the shot. Celtics leading by three. Here's Seasting. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. To the left side wing. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Rebound, Boston. McHale's got rebound number eight now on the night. To the wing on the left. To Zisting. Passes it to Wedman. Now Walt. Fades. Rebound by Counts. Counts has got five rebounds tonight. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter boy, well, he Havlicek. is struggling to make anything go down. And guys, have a check in a nutshell. Just constant motion, unparalleled stamina. This guy will wear you out. Here is Seasting. It's tipped. McHale passes to Wedman. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Oh, I love that dish down low. The pass to six. Here's Counts. Walton defending. With the drive from 12 feet out. Here's Heinsohn. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Here is Seasting. Walton the pass to Vincent. Here is Seasting. Cuts it fly from 18. Vincent misses. Celtics trail by three. Outside, Jones. Here's Havlicek. That shot misses. On offense, here are the Celtics. 
Here is Seasting. Vincent, the pass to Seasting. The Celtics working the ball around now. Yep, it counts. Walton's got the lead up to five now for the Celtics. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. On the wing, Jones. Pass to Heinsohn. And that comes off the assist by Joe. Assisted. Heinzen's got four points this quarter. I'll tell you, sometimes it's easier to hit the target with a bounce pass. That's perfectly done. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time the players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time. This is Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Robert Parrish has checked in for Walton. Bird comes in for McHale. And Ainge is subbed in for Seasting. So it's Boston now. Following the miss by Bill Russell. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Bird kicks to Ainge. Pass to Vincent. Bird with it. Sanders covering. Out to the wing. Pass to Ainge. Feeds it to Russell. He makes his 10th basket of the night from the field. He has missed two shots from the floor. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. The pass to Vincent, and here's Bird. They double team Bird. Parrish dishes to Ainge. Five on the clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And they'll get another chance. Pass to Bird. Six to shoot. And Sanders pulls it down. Sanders has got his fifth rebound in this one. Havlicek. He shoots again, and Russell with the layup. Russell. Russell's got four points in the quarter. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Redmond, the pass to Vincent. Now here's Burke. Sanders covering. Parrish high post. Pass to Wedman. Here's Bird. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Heinz in the pass to Jones. Austin needs to get off a shot. They grab their own miss, and it's Russell with that extra effort. And it's a three-point Celtic lead. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now a timeout called by Boston. Oh, and the lack of rim protection on the top on and of the list. Here. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme right, or is it a problem with the matchups? Boston making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Boston also with the sub. Jones checked in for Heinsohn. Now here is Ainge to the middle. Here's Bird. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Here's Jones. He can't get it to go. And the Celtics going the other way now. Johnson with it. Driving in. In the hoop for his third mate from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. The Celtics with the lead. Havlicek outside. Russell against Parrish. Here's Jones. With that, Russell now up to 10 rebounds. Russell, great hustle on display. And you know what? It's paying off with those second chance points. Passes it to Parrish. 
Johnson outside. He feeds it to Bird. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feed. Johnson's got his fourth assist in this one. And there's the pass to Havlicek. Shoots over Ainge. Second chance shot. And it's Sanders getting it to go. Sanders has got the lead up to three now for the Celtics. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Now in. Pass to Bird. They double team Bird. Parrish with it. Over Russell. Off the left rim and out. Celtics leading by three. Outside, Jones. No place jumper from the free throw line. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Jones against Johnson. Bird outside over Sanders. Shots good from Bird. Bird almost a 50% shooter for his career, and he's right around that mark right now. On the wing, Havlicek. Ainge covering, and it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. McHale's checked in for Wedman. Austin also with the sub. Thompson's checked in. Celtics trail by three. And here is Ainge. Bird outside. Back to Ainge. Parrish against Russell. And he drives in. A shot's good from Parrish. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Jones looking for an opening. Shot clock at five. Comes up empty down low. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Celtics lead by one. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey folks, can't tell you uh, how, how much it means to us to have you back with us on the uh, Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, uh, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. It means the world, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. They stayed within arm's reach in that opening period. Five points, their largest deficit. They came together in the second period and managed to claw their way to a one-point lead. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? They came out after more physical. You could tell they put an emphasis on winning the battle of the board. All of these bodies crashing the glass has given them a physical and a middle edge. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? Got to give some credit to the energy of their bench. The second unit guys are trying to make a name for themselves tonight. And you know, I can fire them with the starters, baby. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Bill Russell in this game. He has been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Bird out there with Kevin McHale. Then there's Johnson. Then there's Ainge. And it's Parrish in at the five spot. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Now here's Bird. Back to Johnson. For the lead. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Celtics going the other way now. 
Heinz in the pass to Jones. Bird against Jones. Pass to Heinsohn. Kicks it to Jones. Over Johnson. Jones, no luck. That's a difficult shot, and if he could do it again, I think he definitely would pass it off there. Bird, the pass to Johnson. To the inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, every generation or so, a player comes first along who can be considered a true superstar. Line, Folks, that's Larry Bird. Well, Celtics shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts for the game. Drops. He ties it up. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Here's Heinsohn. He's guarded by McHale. Jones against Ainge. Oats one up on the basket by Jones. Jones. Jones has got six points. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. McHale kicks to Ainge. Passes to Bird. Picked his pocket. And now here comes Jones leading the break. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Foot goes on Dennis Johnson. Oh, lightning quickness. The cool demeanor. Just no one works harder at the game of basketball than Tim Jones. He's always in shape and always ready to make a play. One falls for. And so Jones nails both of them. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Johnson against Jones. Third left side. Tries from 16. Almost, but it rolls out. And I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Here's Jones. And the rejection by Pierce. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. It's Jones on the way. Bird cover. There's a timing and a rhythm to how Paris plays. Really an underrated defender who routinely frustrates shooters. He can't hit that time. 
Nice D from Russell. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. Not how they hoped to start this half. 1 for 5, brick after brick. Let's start building the building. Now here's Johnson. Six points for him. Three-pointer, third. And Boston with the rebound. Russell's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they've talked about at halftime, it's not working. Johnson against Jones. Jones, the best of Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. In the corner, Sanders with it. Three-pointer. Again, the miss by Jones. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Austin with the ball after the basket by Boston. Heinz in the pass to Russell. Here's Heinzen, defended by Parrish. Well, nice job crashing the glass. You'd love to see that kind of effort. The pass to Bird. Back to Johnson. And McHale gets double team. Here's Bird. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Here's Heinsohn. He's guarded by Johnson. Heinsohn the pass to Sanders. Here he goes. Softly drops in the floor. Sanders. Sanders has got eight. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Bird right side back to Johnson for the tie and Boston with the rebound outside Jones down low and Bill Russell slams it in Ooh. oh inflicting some punishment with the two hand flush ah, they're going for the throat Ainge up top defended by Jones the feed to Parrish. And Jones over to help. Parrish dishes to Ainge. Misses the wing jail. Celtics leading by five. Here's Hanson. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the call. Foul on Boston. I'll tell you what. Hanson is a competitor. But for me, where, where he really gets you is with his body control and then that superb shooting touch. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Austin making some changes. Walton's checked in for McHale. Vincent comes in for Danny Ainge. And it's Easting in for Dennis Johnson. Then for the Celtics, Counts is checked in for Russell. Havlicek comes in for Jones. And Siegfried subbed in for Jones. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Celtics trail by six. Bird, the pass to Seasting. Pass to Wolf. to Z-Sting. Over Sanders. Boston again missing. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. Havlicek the pass to Sid. Here's Heinsohn. He's got five. Havlicek. Again the miss by the Celtics. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The shot by Seasting, no good. Celtics leading by six. Here's Siegfried. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Counts. Makes it off the glass. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Here is Seasting. Passes it to Bird. 
They double team Bird. Here is Z Sting. Teardrop shot. Dishes it to Walton. They can't stop the run with that one. So it's the Celtics now. There's the pass to Sick. Havlicek outside. Celtics passing it around. Here's Counts. Sanders trying to get open. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Inside. Bird misses. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Here's Walton. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Here's Siegfried. Here's Counts. Sanders trying to get open. Counts, no good. Celtics trail by six. He takes it in, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. How about the concentration? He gets hit, but stays with the play. He gets the foul. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Boston. Their ability to rebound and convert those second-chance opportunities has been a running theme throughout. Well, their transition game has been operating at full speed, too. They've really run the break well. The Celtics making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. Celtics leading by three. Siegfried, the pass to Sanders. Here's Counts, defended by Parrish. Looking to end his cold spell. Excellent D there from Parrish. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Pass to Seasting. Feeds to Parrish. Four on the shot clock. And Sanders pulls it down. Sanders has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. On the wing, Havlicek. Siegfried, the pass to Thompson. Here's Siegfried. And Thompson kicks to Havlicek. Boston again missing. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Here is Z-Sting. Drives from 16. Rebound, Boston. Counts has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Siegfried, defended by Parrish, to stop the drought. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Bird, the pass to Seaston. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Austin shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. At the line for two shots. And he makes the first. Ainge is checked in for Boston. Celtics also with a sub. Jones checked in for Siegfried. And so he hits both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Pass to Sanders. Back to Jones. Thompson in the post. Alton defending. Thompson misses. Two minutes remaining in the third. Bird against Sanders. Bird kicks to Ainge. Bird outside. Passes it to Walton. 
Back to Bird. Oh, and the jam by Bird. And if there were ever a pivot, you'd like to run the offense through. Look no further than Bill Walton. Has that sixth sense for how a play should develop. Now here's Sanders. Eight points for him. Applejack outside. Zelda's working the ball around now. Counts, passes to Jones. Trying to end the drought. And that's collected by Bill Walton. Walton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Ainge dishes to Bird. Oh, and the jam by Bird. And they're just doomed if they keep letting them post up like that. You've got to deny the position to afford them no opportunity at making that entry pass into the post. Here's Count. He dishes it to Thompson. The pass to Hamilton. Back to Jones. Now Thompson. Alton defending. And Thompson kicks to in. Shoots over Parrish. Boston. No good that time either. Boston leading by three. Pass to Ainge. We've got 28 seconds left in the third. To the paint. Here's Seasting. And Jones pulls it down. Seasting's gone one for five from the field, 20%. Parrish against Jones. Off on the lane. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Austin on top as they score 11 unanswered points to close out the quarter. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. Come on, fans. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Celtics trail by three. On the court right now for the Celtics. Oh, oh he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Now here's Parrish. Bird outside. They double team Bird. Pass to McHale. Just five to shoot. Knocks it loose. Sanders with the steal. To the middle. And Sanders throws it down. And he's now got the double double. Ten points and 13 rebounds. We can expect a dramatic end to this one. Yeah, no, no quit by either side, guys. Neither team willing to give any ground. Here's Bird. And it's good from the elbow. Bird's got 24. A, a crucial breakdown defensively, and he was quick to make him pay. We call that execution, getting the ball to the right guy where he can do some damage. Now, here is Havlicek. Now, here's Sanders. Let's it go from 14. You have to love the tenacity, but also the awareness to make sure he came away with that ball. Danny Ainge on the wing. Back to Johnson. Out to Bird. Six on the shot clock. They double team Bird. And the rejection by Sanders. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. On the wing, Havlicek. To the inside. Here's Sanders. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Here's Bird. Oh, and the jam by Bird. Went right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Now, here is Havlicek. Outside, Jones. And no good. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. His first personal foul. 
first team foul. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Celtics? When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken Shoot advantage. Two. Yeah, they're taking care of business in the paint, too, getting valuable points down low there. The first free throw is good. So Russell hits them both. Now Boston. a timeout called by Boston. Bill Russell really making a difference here. He's just really a one-man wrecking crew down low. And with this timeout, they've got to make some adjustments because he's been steady inside. Make some noise. Who wants a teacher? Catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach for the Celtics talked to his team during the break. He said they played well in certain areas, but the lack of detail to the defensive boards has allowed their opponent too many second-chance opportunities. And that, he says, is the difference in this game. They have to get busy on the glass, Kevin. Thank you, David. Here's Jones. Robert Parrish making his last shot. Navlicek the pass to Russell. Another shot, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Russell's got six in the quarter. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Jones against Ainge. Pass to Johnson. Parrish dishes to McHale. Doesn't go that time. The Celtics with the lead. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Sanders in the post. Ainge covering. Sanders shot is off. Ainge against Jones. Turn around Jay. Here's Parrish. And he batters for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And the Celtics lead by one. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Now here's Bird following the miss by Bill Russell. Shoots over Havlicek. Here's Ainge. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. McHale is a deadly efficient shooter. His 55% career shooting percentage, one of the all-time best. Now here's Jones down low. It's Russell missing. Now the pass to Ainge. Over Russell. Misses off the left iron. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. On the wing, Jones. Defended by Parrish. Jones, the pass to Sanders. And that comes oh, off the Sanders. assist by Jones. Assist Sanders has got six in the Sam quarter. Jones. How about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Now here's Johnson. Danny Ainge on the wing. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you've got, you got to have your head in the game. And the Celtics making a change here. Heinzen's checked in.
And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Pass to Heinsohn. He's looking for Russell and finds him. And they double up Russell. Jones against Ames. Five to shoot. Pass to Russell. Ball's knocked loose. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Johnson against Jones. Back to Johnson. And there's the call on Jones. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Passes it to Parrish. Celtics passing it around. Bird. McHale kicks to Ainge. Just five on the clock. And here's Bird for three. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Bird's got 13 points here in the second half alone. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Here's Heinsohn. Bird covering. Outside, Jones. Inside. And Bill Russell slams it in. Russell. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Bird right side. Back to Johnson. And the pass to Ainge. Now here's Bird. They double team Bird to the paint and stolen by Russell. To the inside. Here's Sanders. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Shooting from Austin. Tom Sanders taking two shots. Shooting two. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. Tied up with that one. Johnson with it. Pass to McHale. Back to Johnson. Pass to Bird from outside the arc. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got his seventh assist in the game. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Yeah, that's about the first defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Here's Jones following the basket by Larry Bird. Heinz in the pass to Russell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Larry Bird. Third team foul. Shooting from Austin. Tom Hankson. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good.
He hits both from the strike. The Celtics with the lead. Now he. Down low. Kicks it out to Johnson. Ames the pass to McKay. Shot clock at five. Back to Ainge. Nice D from Russell. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're oh, simply trying to get him out of this funk. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. On the wing, Burke. Ains the pass to McHale. Johnson with it. Drives to the hoop. And it's sent back by Russell. And, and guys, this is where instincts come into play. So much you have to read defensively. Russell not fooled at all. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options Good. of the offensive awesome. end. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Bird outside. To the middle. Here's Parrish, the chief attacking the basket. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Passes it to Heinsohn. There's the drive and the rejection by Parrish. And he gets it back. Boy, bodying up there, making sure to get position. That's really nice rebounding technique. Bird, the pass to Johnson. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Bird against Jones. They double team Bird. Celtics passing it around. Johnson for three. Another rebound for Russell as he now has 20. Almost ho hum for him. Here's Hanson. Good work defensively by Johnson. Plenty of drama in this one so far. Yeah, don't be surprised if it isn't decided until the final buzzer. Back to Ainge. The pass to Pierce. Up top, Bird, defended by Jones. Pushing it up. Stolen by Bird. One oh six left in the fourth quarter of this one. Johnson outside. Yes! And that oh. one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone time pulling time in the same direction. Oh, Beautiful to watch. You know we time call here. The Celtics yeah. decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Larry Bird. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Jones, pass to Heinsohn. And here's Jones. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Some solid defense there for McKay. And so they foul intentionally. Tom Sander. That's his fourth personal foul. Second team foul. Thirty-two seconds left in the fourth. Here's Johnson. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. Down low. Rebounded by the Celtics. Now a timeout called by Boston. They trail by four. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 
Here's Jones. Boston again missing. Boston and they go to the intentional foul. foul. Yeah, that's Same right. No there. other option but the foul. And hope for some foul. foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Celtics. Danny Ainge. At the line for two. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. That's what you call slamming the door. This one is over. Pass to Heinsohn. From deep three-point range, off on that one. So we see Boston get the win here. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fingers, but in the end, everyone satisfied. Well, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.